Hello and welcome back. I'm Shelf Unit and this is my continuing let's play of Underrail. So last time we basically went along here. Now we are going to poke our heads out, I think. I think there's a way out down there. No. We're going to poke our heads out the top here. Or at least sort of the top. Might be onto the river, it might not. It's not. So where are we? we can, oh, it is technically under the river. One end of it anyway. Oh, well, not even. So let's, before we head through, and I believe this is probably a ramp where you can push through the, uh, through the waterfall there. We will. Keep going. Okay, so we are at the river there. Yeah, and this comes through back into that previous tunnel. Okay, so I'm going to go back and get the boat and see see how that goes back to us. Oh no, there's this direction as well that I haven't been. So I'll just quickly pop out here. This is another, probably another riverside area. Okay, let's, let's do that via the river. I don't think there's any real need to uh, cause problems there until we have to. If they're not instantly hostile, there's no need for us to be instantly hostile. So let's head back to our boat. Um, and let's, let's mosey on down. Okay, I don't think we need to worry too much there yet. Is the entrance area there? And this here looks like, yeah, this here is this area here. I'm going to carry on going down the river, I feel. Well, no. Since we're here, I'm going to go through. Really? Okay, we're going to go th down through the river. Because apparently I can't get that way in this. If there's a problem, we'll come back and circle round. Okay. Carry on down the river this way. It's like you might, it'll possibly come to an end soon. Charge 
you up. There's a way up here. I suppose, but for a lot of these these little places, it's a case of yes, there is a way out. But it's it's a case of why is there a way out? Current is too strong, and this is where it backs backs in and up here. Okay, well, let's follow it as far up as it goes. I can get out there if I wanted to. Oh boy, does it go? See, I don't... I just don't understand. What? What is this for? You know, it, it doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't serve zero purpose. Okay, well, I'm going to reload that. Purely because I don't want to go into combat as yet. It is pretty dark. It's incredibly dark. I'll come back to that. I don't think there's anywhere else for me to really go otherwise. taking me here. This is an enormous area. See any harm going in here? There's little hoppers around. There's probably nothing to be particularly concerned about. I'll take the trilobite. I've studied it quite often. So this is like a giant lake, almost in the middle of the. Was there all this added before or because of the uh, Black Sea Expedition DLC? Obsidian Shirt. Fair 
enough. I'm gonna take a uh, another one of these. charge job. And this is an enormous, enormous area. It's not not as big as the as the Black Sea, but it's not small. And this is a huge lake area. Out. I mean, some of this, some of this must, must have been added for the DLC. Some of it must have been here anyway. It's just so, so much area. Come on. Shack. I suppose it acts as a good little sort of not so much hideout, but works for this area. Let's close up or we'll close out this area here. This is SGS. Just gonna shift down here to connect the dots.
think there was still a way up here that hadn't been. through. That could make shortcuts handy. Okay, well, head this way. Knuckles, but you're there. I know you're there now. In fact, where is it? Uh, shift and left click. I called Knuckles top left corner. Can't reach. Cool. And then we'll just head down this way. And we're back here. And that's a loop around. This way should bring us to back here. Okay. So there's an awful lot of space in here. want to explore. And if I can get, if I could have got into it here, I probably would have. So, these are all the outposts. So, other than here, I get the impression. I get the impression I can go up there. Oh, I can't get there, can I? I have to go this way. I think I'm going to go, yeah, get to it up here. Yeah, I think I've been sort of draining power very quickly, but I think a lot of that is I'm moving so quickly, whereas I'm 
for the last sort of quite a lot of episodes I've been chugging ridiculously slowly. Okay. Can I get up there? Oh, I can't. This is this is that place. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, now I know where we are. Now I know where we are. Okay. Just gonna double check that there's no way that I can I can get through. Absolutely no way I can get through here. Absolutely no way through here. Doesn't look like it, does it? You know, I, I would have thought that 372% shots, I would have... Really? Reload. I'm slightly annoyed because I can't actually seem to hit anything. Really? Because I'm on fucking gun. This guy. And reload. This is great for XP farming. No, for fuck's sake, I pressed. No, I suppose if it can't actually hit me. Or do anything. Oh, shit. Well, I suppose we can. What does that do? Nothing good. I'll use this time to reload. Everything. And then switch back.
Really? How's the weapon looking? That could do with a repair. That's so annoying. And it's it, it's not, I'm hoping, game breaking, but if there's a point where you can't actually go to, it would be immensely irritating. There's no way of building up speed. I mean, why 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 force people through? <laughs> no, it's 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 just not. Okay, so let's let's try and make a decision here. There's a possibility of going in somewhere here. So let's just try that quickly. There's nothing there to go into or for. There's no reason to go there. There's no way of getting in here. This is useless. Other options is to go back down here and try and get further along there. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll see you when I'm down there, okay? As long and weird a time as that seems to imply that it's going to take. See you in a bit. And I'm back, and it turns out I didn't actually go down this way, which seems Awfully remiss of me. So we'll head down this way. And uncover what we can uncover down here. Which apparently isn't much. at the moment. I'm just going to really go back and link this up. I think this is Camp Hathor. And I'm correct. Yep, yep, yep. OK. 
Okay, let's carry on down here. This looks mm, maybe not promising, but. Why would I want to? I mean, that doesn't look real. But why, why would I want to get off there? It just, it, it doesn't make any real sense to me. It's the only thing I have to sort of really say about that. It doesn't make any sense why you'd want to get off on those areas. Okay, so we're there. And we came through here and we discovered that we couldn't get through there. So. Here's a gun ahead. Can't get along there. Save and see what these hunters are like. Hopper season, yes it is. Hi Richard. So Simpkins and I finally caught up with the bastard after tracking him for five days. Now this thing was a big ass grand old boar, over 40 54 kilos for sure. Easily the largest one I'd ever laid my eyes on. 450, you're full of crap, Jones. Don't interrupt, Dick. My bro took out a 73 one a few years ago. They can grow real big. Yep, he nods. Yep. Anyways, it has real thick bristles, dark, kind of the color of Corolla's carapace, you know, and had large tusks, one of which had been broken in half. So, fatso, as we named him, was hunting for some sow, or foamy in the back. Not aware that there was someone after its ass as well. Yeah, you know what I meant. Anyway, we found him approaching a sounder of about five or six sows and some piglets. No other males in sight. Till Jumbo come along. Now, Jumbo's quite a bit smaller than Fatso, somewhere in the 260, 300 range. Big ball for sure, but he ain't close to Fatso, no. Jumbo, listen to the Jumbo, an adult boar had no tusks. None at all. Maybe they fell off. Maybe he was born without them. I don't know. He shrugs. And, and he was missing his right eye. Looked like a siphon, I got it. And quite recently, as there was that sucker mark around its eye socket. Must have slurped that eyeball right out. So Jumbo was a lot smaller than Fatso, had no tusks, and was missing an eye. What it had instead was a knife! You're full of crap, Jones. You're full of crap. Bored a knife. Don't interrupt, dang it. Pigs are smart animals, and they can learn to use tools and all that. My bro saw one fishing once. I, I swear the boar had a knife. He held the handle with his teeth, and the blade pointed forward, I swear. Big ass butchering knife, derailed son of a rabbit's gonna go lurker style on Fatso. Now, Simkins and yours truly, we came there to big Fatso ourselves, but damn we were captivated by what it was what was going on before us. It was like like the arena. They were fighting, the sows were cheering, and there was lots of blood all over the place. Jumbo may have had a knife, but Fatso is one big tough ass boar. He had to slash real deep through the thick hide and all that fat and crap to get to his organs. But Jumbo Jumbo was one smart ass boar, one for the eyes. Slash from left to right, top to bottom, going around Fatso's big ass tusks. You're full of crap and you know it. Jones said the boy was only using a knife. He was also an expert fencer, huh? Give me a break. Well, the rats would just stop it already. Remember the Beastmaster, the, uh, the gladiator from a few years ago. One of his beasts was a boy with a freaking rocket launcher on its back. Pigs are natural warriors. Yeah, the Baconator. One of its rockets misfired and blew it to bits. <laughs> I think it blew it to bacon, he laughed. Anyways, where was I? Uh, uh, yeah, Jumbo finally managed to slice both of Fatso's eyes and it went derailed, derailed! Ran round and round and round because it couldn't see where it was going. It went right over the edge and into the river. Five days worth of tracking went downstream like a rotten hopper egg. But of course, Jones, but of course! Punch his dick in the arm. Shut up! The heck up already. Look, what happened, that's what happened, okay? Whether you believe it or not. Uh, Simpkins, if you don't believe me. You know, Simpkins. Anyway, we don't feel that drop in Jimbo, Jumbo. Beyond our respect, deserve to go on spreading its seed, you know. 
We did bag a couple of his sows, though. Couldn't return home with nothing. And there you have it, guys. He looks in your direction. And you, sir, even star. No, I still think you're full of crap, Jones. Stanley's face turns red. These people know me? Okay. Apparently I can look in there. So what's down this way? Nothing of importance. Okay, well, apparently they know me. Honestly, can't quite remember where from. Nothing this way. So we know where we are here. And we know where we are here. And dear Lord, did I already explore this place and I'm just being an absolute duh. The answer is yes. The answer is is it yes? I think it's yes. I think it's yes. It's a really depressing yes. No, it's not yes. It's a no. I am not diminished. <laughs> I will not go into the West. <laughs> I, well, can go this way. Okay, buddy boy. down here yes okay do I have an agility of 10 I don't know I do have an agility of 10. But I'm not going to do it right now. I am going to say thank you ever so much for watching. If you've enjoyed, please subscribe. If not, do not worry about it. And when we come back, we are going to go in one of three ways to whatever is in here. So, if you've enjoyed, please subscribe. If not, don't worry about it. Thank you again, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.